Richie here, Richie Rides. Today I'm going to talk about riding safely and trying to deal with the uh, Highways Traffic Act. As you can see, I go through here. Now I just made a, a left turn which is consistent with the Highway Traffic Act. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check on my vehicle. It's um, it's almost ready. There was one more part to go, but the bodywork is done, so that's pretty cool. Or uh, I think it needs to be painted still. But anyway, we're going to go check on that, and I'm going to at the same time going to do what I normally ride. And there's a bit of a lively discussion there going on with uh, I don't know the OPP uh, or police somewhere in Ontario just pulled over a cyclist for blasting through a stop sign just the way I did but there was nobody around and I thought that was kind of ridiculous because it's safe there's nobody around and with bikes you you, you, you know you, you, once you get the momentum up you don't want to start and stop and that's just ridiculous nobody rides like that it's, 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 it's not practical to turn around and wait around corners and you know start busting cyclists because they they didn't come to a complete stop that's just ridiculous now here's a four-way stop now this one i'm definitely going to be respecting so i'm gonna let the truck go and then i'm gonna go next and okay so did that safely so that i'm absolutely gonna follow like a vehicle does i'm not gonna i'm not entitled to, to think that i can just go through <laughs> although this brings up the first kind of a conflict when it comes to what is a bicycle what is a pedestrian and what is a vehicle and what is a car and all that stuff okay now I'm very much in the bicycles or pedestrians or like pedestrians and defer like should be treated like one uh, because of uh, the, the fact that that the lightness uh, the danger I mean, uh, I'm, I'm as exposed as a pedestrian is, and so I, I uh, shouldn't be any restriction for me to go on the sidewalk if it's not safe. In this particular case, this is a wide enough two-lane road where I don't feel threatened. I don't feel like uh, I'm in danger here because this is, traffic is not going that fast, for one thing. I'm still not as fast as the traffic. <clears throat> but... Um, so I don't have a problem with, with running alongside the road here, you know. Even if there was a, a line here that defined a, a bike lane, it'd be great. But we have these curves. These curbs, these curbs are always kind of a, a nuisance because they, they kind of mess up, you know, like there should be more room here or should be more room on the other side, whatever. The curbs kind of seem to be a problem a lot of the times. <clears throat> And here we got to change to where the road is. Um, now we have a shoulder, a paved shoulder, but we don't always have paved shoulders, so I have no problem with this. Am I going to take the lane? No. There's a white line. I'm going to be on this side of the white line. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Some people think I should own the road, but uh, you know, own the lane and let other people pass when it's safe. No. The reason why I don't like that is, first of all, it causes road rage for the people that I back up. They get pissed off. And then they start accelerating and they go vroom and pass right by you with, you know, hardly any space. There's that. Then you have distracted drivers who are just not even looking. They're on their phone and they're just so used to going up and down this road that they just, you know, automatically just kind of go in and they won't even see you. Next thing you know, you're on a hood and uh, you're, you're hit and you don't even see it coming. You know, so I mean, obviously I got a mirror. I rely on that. It says road closed, except for buses. Well, what the hell? <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go see what this is about. So how many infractions there so far, guys? I didn't realize this road would close. I was wondering why there was no little traffic. But uh, 
Well, here the reason why I went this way for one thing is because we're coming up to a cut. Now, if this is ridiculous, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna turn around because uh, I'm not sure what's going, what I'm coming up to here. All right, let's just keep. I'll just follow the bus. Huh. Oh no. Okay, so right here, okay, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna turn around uh, because I'm not, see, I'm not gonna go in there. So, so that's a bad idea. Okay. So. <clears throat> now, uh. so I can talk also about what is a bike. Why is this? This is why I consider this to be a bike and not an electric motorcycle and what the differences are. So there's two, there's two arguments here I'm making that I, I fully expect people to disagree on. And hopefully we can just talk about this rationally as well. Okay, first thing is I identify, I, I identify, I place myself more with a, along the lines of, of a pedestrian because I have no protection. And um, even though I move faster than a pedestrian, the, my, uh, uh, the danger is about the same when it comes to interacting with vehicles, okay? Uh, it, it is, so, and so there's that. And also the, the, the other thing is the weight and the lightness of the bike, okay? So this bike weighs about 50 pounds, maybe less. But what it is is it's light enough to pick up and bring up and down the stairs. It's light enough to put in the front, like with other bikes, uh, like in transit, there's a bike rack that that the buses have, it fits on that. So that's why I think this is a mountain bike and not an electric bike, even though it, it's a knee bike. But what I mean is like, it category, cat categorized as a mountain bike with, with an assist, a power assisted mountain bike. Okay, so that shouldn't be categorized the same as a, an, electric, uh, an electric motorcycle or a new bike that's got bigger tires, that's heavier, that is um, faster, which would be like over 100 pounds, let's say capable of doing 60 kilometers an hour or more. That's not this bike, okay? This thing, well, you see how fast I go, how fast I can go, about top speed, well, it doesn't really go much faster than 50 kilometers an hour, but that has more to do with, with the, uh, gearing or anything else and also power I don't have enough power to go much faster than that so what do I do here I gotta I gotta jump a curb this is completely unbike friendly right even though I just came out of a university so we got University Boreal and uh, no bike lanes no bike lanes and he just built this it's like what the hell so all right so here I am uh, I don't know on sidewalk I guess now I'm on the side of a highway. <sighs> up, up on the other side was the road that I couldn't get down. This is kind of like freeway stuff here. But I don't like this, I want to get off of this. Although this is wide enough for a bike lane. But it's not. It's not considered a bike lane. So here I'll just do as fast as I this bike is goes comfortably without getting into the overheating. Oh, now I'm forced onto the road. Okay, so I don't like that. And these curbs are are heavy. That's not cool. 
So now I want to do a left-hand turn. Now how do I do a left-hand turn in this kind of traffic? Do I play, do I go along as if I'm a car? Or do I do it safely? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it safely. And this is how I do it safely. All right, I'm gonna do the intersection. So now I'm gonna go from a road vehicle I'm gonna just go to this intersection here. And now I become a pedestrian. Because what choice have I got? I don't wanna, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not driving with traffic like that. All right, so this is what I mean. This is why it's, you can't uh, say, oh, you're driving, you're, you gotta drive like a car, or you gotta be off. To, so you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, and, and these towns in Ontario are just not built for cyclists, even even when they're brand new. That road's not even a year old. They didn't even consider it. <laughs> Wild. So now I'm gonna go up uh, towards Valcaran. All right, so now let's go. I'm a pedestrian now, I'm a pedestrian. Oh, there's sort of a bike lane. Not really. It's kind of like a shoulder. Just slow down. All right, so anyways, talking about the motors and the bicycles. Now this attachment, this motor, the way I have it set up, I don't, I don't have it maxed out. I don't, I don't have it fully, I, I don't have it going past, it goes maybe five, 600 watts maximum. And that's pretty much all I need. But do I want a 500 watt motor? No, I'd rather have a heavier duty motor and I'd rather, uh, have it, have it go slower than have a smaller motor going max because that's just going to wear it out faster and that's not the way I want to ride okay so for instance right now I'm doing 450 watts okay now I want to pick it up a little faster now I'm doing 600 watts and this is how most, most of the time I ride okay now I got to do this no one's coming on the side of the road business here. Highway traffic acts as I should be on the highway, on, on the other side. I don't think so. It's not safe. So I'm just gonna crawl up along the side of this road until I get to Valcaran. I've done this ride many times, so it's not a big deal. But I'm gonna use this particular video Okay, now someone's coming. Let him through. Okay, now I'm safe. Okay, so that's tricky, obviously. Am I supposed to be here? I don't know. No signs telling me I'm not. But if I wasn't allowed here, I wouldn't be able to go to uh, Valcaran. There's no other way to get there. Okay. So we'll just get through this part here and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll save, I'll stop recording until I get, or I don't know. I know what's coming. So this I don't mind, this is this doesn't bother me, this kind of stuff. Enough room here. It's 
Friday too, so it's pretty busy. Okay guys, so I'm gonna come back. I'm just gonna just keep riding this, this highway here for a little bit. And I'll come back when I get to the valley. Okay. Coming up into a change here and off the highway. So old highway 69. So here I got a choice. Which way? This way? Or straight? I'm gonna go straight. Here's a hazard right here. There's another hazard. That'll break your chin. Snap your wrists. I gotta jump over this curb. Yeah, not a problem for this bike. And I'm gonna just now get on the sidewalks. Because I'm not getting on a four laner with people coming off a highway doing on average 80 kilometers an hour. I'm just not gonna do it. But the bottom line is, is there, there's a gray area. And in a way that's kind of good because I don't want to be regulated. I mean, whatever. I mean, that's just the uh, rebel in me. <laughs> and, and I also don't want to, uh, to be straddled with a heavy, hard to control bike because I have an athletic background and, and I, I, I have no problems with this kind of setup. Other people may have difficulties with what I'm riding. May find it skittish or uh, may not find it comfortable because I've leaned over but I got a background in racing and uh, com competitiveness so to me this is ideal this is good it, it works for me right but I don't want to be regulated out of out of my sport and if I wanted to be on a road and on in a big I would get a much bigger faster one that can keep up so I can ride it like a motorcycle and not have to worry about vehicles passing me all the time and in a rage or, uh, you know, having to deal with distracted drivers from behind. You know, I could just like, which in itself is dangerous enough on a motorcycle, you know. So what, 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 what these people are saying I should do is, not, is take on the, 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 the uh, dangers of a motorcycle and have it multiplied by the fact that I get have to be passed, you know, like as like like I'm being passed right now, but but on the side of the road with a curb on one side, it, it, you know, it, it's it's kind of a ridiculous argument, and that's why it's upsetting, is because it's just so fucking ridiculous. Here's another kind of a thing I got to be watch. See right. See here, I'm thrown out into the road. This guy's not sure where I'm going. But I looked in my mirror, I saw that he was there, and I just let him go past first. But that's a potential hazard there. So like four or five hazards. Just, you know, just trying to get to Valcairn. <laughs> trying to get to my truck. <laughs> so... So it's just, uh, we'll see here what's going on. And <clears throat> Boy, this is the time of the day, Boy, beautiful. Summertime. There again, which way? This way, that way? This way! Here we are, Valkyrie. Valley Caron, as they say in French. This is the main reason why I was here, is because this door wouldn't open. Look at that. 
it opens beautifully. What a good, what a job. So that's cool. That's looking good. So now I want to get on the other side of the road here. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to. Wow. The road's pretty busy. So I'm going to uh, break some more uh, laws, I guess. To get to the intersection coming up and then I'll cross the street there. Good now. Nah, I'll just do the It's rush hour. Okay, now let's safely get on the other side of the road. shoulder here so we're, we're good all right guys so I don't know I mean we're gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back uh, along here and then I'm gonna come back I guess when I get to closer to town and do some more uh, highway traffic act infractions And just kind of make the point, look, you know, uh, this is what I got to do, this is what I got to do. And uh, this is how it is. So. I'll see you guys in shortly. So we're coming into Sudbury here. And we'll just see what... Uh, fun this is. <sighs> so I gotta watch, I gotta cut through these uh, ramps here. There's nobody coming behind me. Boost it up a little bit here. No one coming. Okay, no one's coming. This is pretty much top speed of the bike. After no one behind me? Good. Well, that was smoother than I expected anyway. All right. Slow down here. Huh.
Okay, so here again, road or sidewalk. Ooh. Yeah. So guys, just to recap, um, in North Northern Ontario and Sudbury and Timmins, all these other places, they're just not built at all for bikes, okay? So when we have to, uh, you know, somebody says, well, you gotta follow the Highway Traffic Act. I says, that just becomes dangerous, okay? So we have to kind of ride, you know, in a hybrid mode between, uh, you know, trails, like bike lanes when you got them, like right now, sidewalks if you don't have them, and roads when it, you know, safe and on shoulders if they're paved. But being a, a like, like a motorcycle, it's just not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna force me to do it. And that's just how it's going to be. And I think it's a big problem that needs to be solved. And then the way to solve it is not to put restrictions, but to just create a smoother experience and a safer experience. And that doesn't mean uh, billions of dollars here. I mean, it just let's just let's be smart about stuff. And think about future which is going to be small electric vehicles like this you know and the reason why I wouldn't want to be on the roads is not fast enough okay that's the only reason so it's faster heavier bike sure I know I'm repeating myself but I'm gonna I'm saving up all my complaining for this one video <laughs> I, uh... So what I'll do is I'm going to be heading towards town and I'm just going to keep following this bike path and uh, we'll leave it at that as far as the discussion and there's because you know you know how I feel about that and you can see why it's difficult and the other thing is the um, classification of the vehicle this this is I consider this to be a mountain bike with an assist not an electric bike doesn't go any faster. I'm just able to, you know, it's not geared higher or nothing like that, and I could pedal the whole time. And my range is like, you know, up to 50 kilometers an hour, and to me, that's safe. Power I have is enough power to what I consider safe. And, uh, I think this regulation should kind of be built around this experience. Slower is no good. Faster is no good. It should be considered uh, like a weight class more than anything else. Like anything under like 50, 50 pounds or 70 pounds or whatever. Like anything that's like mountain bike, uh, whether it's assist or not. It should just be in its own class. You know. And then and, and, uh, heavier bikes should, that are more made for the road are in a separate class. And if you want to, if you require a license, well, that's a, that's a different thing. But that's, I, I'm not getting into that. Like I will not be getting an electric motorcycle. If anything, if there's going to be any kind of upgrading going on, it's going to be another electric, it's going to be another mountain bike. In the same weight type, same category. Because if I wanted to go on the, on the roads, I'll get an actual motorcycle. And I've decided I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to stick with my truck electric bike combination. And uh, 
I came close. I wanted to buy a motorcycle, but no. Nope. Changed my mind. So that's really the two points I wanted to make and to make create a, to discuss about. And uh, if you have any ideas, discussions, or arguments or anything like that, if you do ride, great. If you don't ride and you've got opinions uh, from the generator from the seat of a vehicle, yeah, you don't get it. I think it's the same main thing. Especially when it comes to like uh, you know the bylaws, bylaws. If they're going to be writing bylaws, they're going to have to hear from us and uh, have it not be uh, not have any representation because that's not going to work either. Just like the bylaws in the UK, they seem absolutely ridiculous, like just useless. And I don't want that happening in Canada or in my town. I want useless bylaws. And I don't want to be uh, deregulated deregu out of existence either. So with that said, I'll just continue uh, with the ride. And I'll just leave it at that. Beautiful day. Another thing when it comes to road safety, you see like that vehicle, uh, I don't know if you notice it, but I see its wheels rolling and I see it turning towards me before I hit the intersection, but I can also hear a vehicle beside me. So I would have hit the brakes had it not been for the other vehicle coming. Because it looked like it was ready to accelerate into my pass. So those are the things you got to watch out for. Another thing you got to watch out for when you're riding is um, drivers with their heads that are swiveling, meaning they're looking back and forth, and they, if they see you, they will lock onto you and they'll look at you. But if their heads are swiveling, that means they don't see you, and that right away is, is, a, is a do not pass or don't, don't go in front of the vehicle that vehicle because they're very likely ready to hit the accelerator and run you right over, especially uh, when you're coming along like an intersection because they're looking both ways and they're trying to, if they don't see you, don't go. Just stop. That's another thing I do to stay uh, keep to keep from getting injured. The other thing I do is I assume all vehicles are basically logs in a river, <laughs> but they don't have brakes, and I'm not, I don't assume that they're going to stop for me. I know, so I ride like I'm invisible. Ride like you're invisible.
How many infractions have I broken there so far? Anybody keeping count? Who's watching this? Anybody hate watching this? Counting all the infractions ready to call the cops? Let me know. And go ahead, call them. I'll just fight it and turn it into a political thing and don't go to City Hall over it. That's the way I work. Hey guys. To be honest with you, I kind of like the police in Sudbury, to be honest. They've uh, been nothing but very, very, very professional in, in the uh, few occasions I've interacted with the police. They've been very. Uh, Nothing to complain about. Actually, if anything, deserve praise. Just putting that out there. Oh, did I pass where I'm going? All right, well, I've already gone too far. So guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna stop and grab some, uh, oh no, it's up ahead here. I thought I went too far. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. If, please like and subscribe and, you know, let me know what you think about all this stuff here. I said I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna continue this discussion. I'm gonna just leave it on this particular video, and uh, everything else will be kind of geared towards positive aspects of riding, which there are plenty. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.